Greetings fellow geometric explorers and welcome to the first number one outing in the video safari of Euclid's Elements. Although past performance may not be indicative of future results, rumor has it that if you slap like on this video, press subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of future treks into the mathematical wild, you'll be protected from some of the more ferocious beasts hiding in the bush. Our map for every journey is Euclid's Elements, all 13 books in one volume, published by the Green Lion Press and used as a reference for these videos with permission. See the video's description for links. Today we search for the elusive book one, proposition one. If we have a line, we have a line. How do we create a true equilateral triangle with no ruler? Because even if you had a ruler, it wouldn't be exact. Have you put on your sunscreen? Sprayed some bug spray on and, of course, a safari hat. Hop onto the Land Cruiser and let's go. Don't forget to drink plenty of water. Okay, you see the line? I can't see myself. See, I gotta look at myself and I point wrong way. See the line down there? See the line down there? Okay, we've got a line. Now, what do we do? We've got a line. We wanna make that equilateral triangle around the line. Well, it's actually relatively simple. What we're gonna do is gonna draw a couple circles. We got a first circle here, and you can see we're using A, the line is AB. We're using A as the center of the circle, and then we have B. I'm going to put a dot on D. We'll talk about D so we can say which circle is which, but we've got a, another point with D. Now, that doesn't give us an equilateral triangle, does it? Although we could draw it to D, right? I mean, have a nice diameter. Let's keep going. Draw a second circle. Now, the first circle at center A, and then the radius from A, AB being the radius. The second circle has a center B and is using BA or AB, they're the same, right? To do the radius of the circle. Now where they intersect, we're gonna call it C. And you can see I snuck in a uh, E, where are we down? Right about there. Uh, I snuck in an E um, so that now we can basically say we have two circles. We've got BCD and we have ACE. BCD, the left circle, wait, of the direction, the left circle. And then we've got uh, A, C, E, the right circle. Uh, still don't have that equilateral triangle, do we? So let's keep going. Draw a line from A to C and a line from B to C. So the question now is, is that an equilateral triangle? Well, what's the definition of an equilateral triangle? All three sides are the same. Well, we know the radius doesn't change, does it? If you have a circle and a radius, so AC is still the radius, as is AB, as is BA, as is BC. And we know that AB, the radius of both, is the same. So we have two circles, equal radius, and we have two lines that are the same length of the radius. So now that we know AB equals AC equals BC, and thus we have an equilateral triangle. Isn't that kind of cool? Now, if you were going to try to do this on your own, Basically, draw your line, take out a compass. It won't be as perfect as this. The GeoGebra definitely helps. Uh, it won't be as perfect as this, but draw a line, take a compass, do one circle, do the other circle, then draw lines to the point where they intersect. And you've got it too. You've got your equilateral triangle. And you gotta think that's kinda handy, right? You'd, you'd, try, you'd have to have two rulers and have to measure the first one correctly and all that stuff, and you still wouldn't be as, as on the mark as this one. Well, fellow geometric explorer, Congratulations on surviving this trek. It wasn't that painful, was it? Before we wrap up, please remember to check out this video's description and see how you can get your own copy of Green Lion Press's Euclid's Elements, all 13 books in one volume, plus links to a couple other great related books. A shout out to Indiana University East, which way, wait, do I point? Nope, I'll get used to this. <clears throat> Excuse me. A shout out to Indiana University East where I am working on my mathematics degree. As you can see, I am not a traditional student. And their online offerings make it so I can feed the family and study the subject that I love. It's a great school with great teachers and great classmates. Thanks for joining this excursion into the video safari of Euclid Elements. And come back soon. The best way to make sure that is likely is to slap like on this video, subscribe to the math.promo channel, and ring the bell for notices for when we climb back on the Land Cruiser for the next trek 
into the mathematical bush. Visit the math.promo right there, math.promo website for links to this and all previous outings. Time to head back to the lodge. See you again soon. Bye.